Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Umang Bhavani and I solve coding interview questions. To know more about me, check my LinkedIn profile mentioned in the description. Today we will solve another problem of our sliding window playlist that is minimum window substring. The problem description says, given two string S and T of length M and N respectively, return the minimum window substring of S such that every character in T is included in the window. And if no such substring exists, we'll return the empty string. For example, we have one string S and string T. We see that in string T we have A, B and C. Now in string S, the length of minimum substring we can see is these letters that is B, A and C. Hence that is the output. In example 2, since string S and string T are same, the entire string is the minimum substring. In example 3, the given pattern or string T is A and A but in a string we only have single a hence that is not the correct output and we return the empty string also one thing to notice is we have to solve this problem in o of n plus n time now let us understand this problem more clearly with the help of this example let us assume if these were the given string to us and we have to find the minimum window substring in this s so usually the brute force approach is we find all the substrings and then among that we find the substring of minimum length so for example let me write the positions let us say if this was our left pointer and this was our right pointer so if we go by brute force approach we see that this is currently the window size but it did not contain b hence we increment our r again this is our window size it does not contain b hence we increment our r this is the substring it does not contain b we increase the r this is our substring length and here we found our first substring so that means length currently is 4 then again we will increment our l pointer and we will again start r pointer from here so this is the length of substring it doesn't contain b hence we will increment r now this is the length of our substring it does not contain b hence we again increment r so now this is the length of our substring and since it is smaller than the current length that we have we will update it to 3 then again we increment our l pointer we will start r pointer from here and again since this is the length of the window it doesn't contain b we will increment r and this is the smallest length hence we will decrement to 2 then again l is incremented here now this is the length of the substring it contains b and that is 1 so we'll decrement to 1 and this will be our answer but if you notice over here in this given string s we have moved our l pointer and r pointer multiple times across these characters so now if you notice our l pointer was here in the start and our r pointer was here now every time to find the length we increment our r pointer from year to year up till year so now we have traversed the string once now again when we increment our l pointer we are again traversing the right pointer from year to year till year so you see these characters were traversed once now as soon as we incremented the l pointer again we had traversed the same set of characters with r pointer again if we increment l again these set of characters will be traversed with r pointer so if you see this approach gives the time complexity of o of n square which is not acceptable now if you observe the given example carefully this problem has a lot of similarity with our previous problem that is permutation in a string but it only have one difference in this problem we need to find a substring that have all the character of the given pattern but it might contain some extra letter so our approach to solve this problem will be more or less same as we used in permutation in a string so if you guys haven't watched that video i recommend you to complete that video first and then continue with this so now we will keep running a count of every matching instance of the character and whenever we have matched all the characters we will try to shrink the window from the beginning and we will keep the track of the smallest substring that has all the matching characters let us go through this example we see up to this point 
our window consists of all the characters that was given in T string that is A, B and C. So in this window we can see that all the characters are matching from the given string and hence for the time being this is the minimum window. So now we can start shrinking the window. So as soon as we shrink the window we see that letter A is no longer a part of the window and hence all the characters are not matching with the given string ABC. So again we continue to expand our window and up to this point we again have this window which consists of all the letters that is given in a string T but this window size is greater than this window size that we had already seen hence this still remains our minimum length of the window. Now since this window has all the letter we will start shrinking the window. So we will remove D then we will remove O then we will remove B. But if you notice even though this B is removed this length of the window still contains all the characters A, B and C and hence it still satisfies the given condition. So we can still continue to shrink the window. Now as soon as the C goes out of the window we see that in this window length letter C is not there and hence it is not satisfying the condition. So again we will increment our right pointer and we encounter C over here. Now in this window letter A, B and C are present and it is matching with this ABC. Hence we can try to shrink the window from left. So letter O is out of the window, letter D is out of the window, letter E is out of the window and if you notice this length of the window contains A, B and C and it is smaller than the initial minimum window that we had captured over here. So hence B, A and C is our output. Now before we go through the code I recommend you guys to watch permutation in a string video first and then continue with this as it has lot of similarity with that problem. So at first we will initialize our two variables that we do usually that is start and match. Next we will be using min length variable as we are expected to return the minimum length of the substring and I have initialized it with integer.max. I have also used one more variable substring and will come to know its use in the later part of the video. Next we will be using our hash map to store the character frequency of this given string t so that when we iterate through this string s we can count the frequency of these characters at any time in our window. Next we will populate the given string t into our hash map for that I am using a for loop where I convert string t to character array and for every character c we put c into our hash map and we use get or default so if its value is already present in the map we get its value and we increment by 1 or if it is the new character we get 0 and we increment it to 1. Next step is to write our main for loop where the end pointer will go from 0 up to the length of s. So we will take our right character and if the map contains this right character so we will decrement its count by 1. So hence map.put right care you get the existing value of right care and you decrement it by 1. Now we will check if in a map the right care value is it still greater than or equal to 0 if yes we increment the match by 1. For example if we encounter a we decrement its count from the map so it becomes 0 and if it is 0 it means that we found our first matching character that is we have one a over here and one a over here. Now let's say if the given pattern t had this string and our s string is something like this. So if you notice now in a hash map a's count is 2, b is 1 and c is 1. So in our string we should have 2 a, 1 b and 1 c and only then the match will be equal to the length of this given string. So as we saw when the match count is equal to the given string t's length that means we had found one window that contains all the characters that are there in string t. Now this window it might be a minimum window or it might be not. If the minimum length is greater than this window length that means we had found a new minimum length so we will update the minimum length and also we will mark our start 
with one variable that is substring for example if we had this window so our start would have been at a position so we will mark that with substring over here but we are not sure if this is the minimum or not so our start pointer will keep on incrementing but had this been a minimum we will lose the track of our start pointer hence we are keeping it in a substring variable now if this if statement is not executed we are sure that whatever the window length we have it is the minimum length so now we have to try to shrink the window from the beginning keeping the track of the smallest substring that has all the matching character but at which point do we have to stop the shrinking process that is the important thing so one thing to note over here is that we could have redundant matching characters like we saw over here in this example we have two b's whereas we required only one b so in that case when we encounter the first b we will simply shrink the window without decrementing the count of match and we will decrement the count of match only when second b goes out of the window let us see how we will handle this in a code so we will store the start variable in our left care and we will increment the start by one now if map contains the left character we will decrement the match count only if this left character is not a redundant character for example if you noticed over here b's count in this substring is 2 so if i remove the b from the substring the count of b in our hash map still remains 1 that means once the count of b in the hash map is 0 we are sure that that character was not the redundant character and at that point we can decrement the match pointer so if map dot get left care if its count is 0 that means when you remove this b also from your window at that point you have to decrement the match and if this if block is not executed then simply we can put that left character again into our hash map now we can complete this if block and also this while block because as long as match length was equal to t's length we saw if we have to update the minimum length if not we try to shrink our window once the match count is less than the t's length we will come out of the while loop and we will continue with our end pointer now at the end of this for loop while returning we will check if min length is greater than the string s length if yes we will return an empty string if not we will take this substring starting from our substring variable that we stored over here our start pointer up to min length that we found so for example if substring was over here and min length you found was up till c then you from the given string s you will take the substring of b a and c and you will return that so now let us try to run the code it is accepted now before we submit let me explain you the time complexity so the time complexity of this above solution will be o of n plus m where n and m are the numbers of characters that we had in the string s and string t and the space complexity will be o of n where m is the number of characters in string t because in the worst case the whole pattern can have distinct character and that we have to push into the hash map and also in the worst case we need o of n space for the resulting substring which will happen when the input string is the permutation of the given pattern so let us submit the code now so guys i hope you understood the solution and i hope you understood why this brute force approach gives us o of n square solution which is generally not acceptable whereas we have solved in time complexity o of n plus m if you have any queries please do let me know in the comment section and also like share and subscribe this channel to help me solve more problems for you thank you